Hi Aries, welcome to your September reading. I hope you're having a great day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for this upcoming month. See what you need to look out for. See what you need to be aware of or what's coming your way. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below on how you can book. And yeah, Aries, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for you for the month of September. It should be a pretty interesting time for you guys as we do have a full moon in Aries on the 29th of September. So you guys are going to be in the spotlight. Definitely some significant changes taking place. You might be releasing some things right now in the process of clearing out, making some space, um, getting ready for some changes, getting ready to take some leap of faith. So we'll see what comes out for you. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on for the month of September. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus placements. What do they need to know? Okay, so we got the beaver coming out. That's your first card. That's the element of water. What's going on for Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus? That is a big stack. I'm not taking that. <laughs> not taking that but octopus did show up that's more water um you might be kind of working through some difficult emotions or you may be dealing with some more intense energy throughout the month of september we do have a lot of retrograde energy upon us that we're dealing with so you might be feeling that depending on your placements um okay there we go we got the elk give me one more card for aries in september Thank you. Eagle. Yeah, what did I say? You guys have big changes coming up. This is going to be a month of... Like, there's something that you're already working towards or something that you've been investing, building, growing. There's expansion happening for you this month. I'm really drawn to... Look at the colors in all these cards. It's kind of like yellowy orange. Maybe that's your favorite color. If that's your favorite color, hey, shout out to you and yellow. And like, you know, I see you. You're coming through in this reading. But yeah, big changes that you're working towards. You're working towards changing your life. You're working towards building a healthier routine, building a healthier lifestyle. And this is all about dedication and focus. And you're really going to be witnessing massive progress, massive, massive, massive Oh, like windfall of rewards is how honestly how I'm feeling. It's harvest season. Harvest season is upon us. And all the efforts that you've been putting towards your goals, this path, this place, this person, this this job, this project, whatever the fuck, okay? Whatever you've been working on for quite some time, months or even years for some of you, this is a month that's going to tell all. Ooh. Interesting. At the bottom at the bottom we have the crow and the crow the bear oh you feel okay scorpion there's this deep inner no i don't even the elephant okay oh and the, the okay i'm pulling too many cards at the bottom of the deck but there's this deep inner knowing there's this deep inner knowing about this shift that's about to take place the bear is all about new beginnings it's all about coming out of hibernation after a period of you know either rest or maybe stagnancy for some of you it's like it wasn't really what you wanted but universe life the you you know just kind of made you sit and wait sit tight um yeah you're not going to be sitting tight much longer so honestly if things are kind of just chill or a little bit slow right now embrace it enjoy it soak it up because you're going to get busy very soon and there is this is connected this path that you're on and whatever it is that you're working towards whatever that's building or expanding in september this is part of your spiritual path this is part of your journey this is part of you like you're in alignment okay and your intuition is guiding you so really make sure that you trust yourself and you really make it more of a priority for self-care self-study meditation um journaling like breath work for some of you maybe it's stretching maybe it's yoga maybe it's you know making commitments to yourself <clears throat> But so with the bear and the scorpion in this combination, in regards to this new path or this expansion, right? Because it feels like you're building off of something that has already been in the works. There's a little bit of frustration about this. There's a, I think because you've been dealing with start, stop, start, stop, or you've been dealing with just like things happening a lot slower or things going on, you know, 
beyond the physical in the physical reality it's like it's not it's basically the roots are developing but we can't see it with our eyes right but we know it's there and we know it's only a matter of time but still it can be very frustrating when we don't get those instant results or we're not you know you're not exactly where you want to be but you know you're still gonna get there it's just taken a little bit of time for it to establish itself but aries you deep down like you just you know that it's all on divine timing you you know that you're going to have this thing that you are working towards it's yours it's yours it's not a matter of if it's just it's taking a little bit of time but i honestly it's september is the month where you're really gonna get the proof like the solid proof that it's like yes this is working this is the path i gotta keep going like you have to just keep at it whatever this is that you're working towards a lot of you this is about your stability this is about like your either this could be about your confidence your physical health this could be about your money this could be about where you live but it's something about like your foundation okay your foundation is solidifying it's kind of like i'm getting like concrete like you know how concrete has to set and it's going to take some time for it to set but once it's set there we go you can walk on it it's solid it takes a lot for it to break that's how this is it's like you are building something solid and to keep going and to not i know it can be hard not to feel like discouraged or like disappointed but you should be so fucking proud of yourself for how far you've come and you know with the eagle coming out this does talk about divine intervention um the universe has its eyes on you that you are about to be thrown into this big new exciting chapter of your life and you have no idea what's going to come out of this situation so keep growing keep putting the effort keep like i'm keep fertilizing honestly keep fertilizing whatever <laughs> you know keep watering this seed that you've planted your intentions just keep at it because it's going to start expanding and growing like crazy okay this is harvest season harvest season is upon you aries and again you have that full moon at the end of the month so you should start to see the signs and massive growth over these next few weeks so keep it up be proud of yourself and recognize how far you've come like you truly have come such a far way a long way yeah you may have more to go you know you're at the early stages of this cycle right with that bear energy you're in the early stages so this is something that might be going on for months or even years down the line right you're like baby we're just getting started so but you're off to a strong start and this is your reminder to keep going and to keep pushing and to not give up but allow yourself to take breaks you know with that beaver that's all about finding the balance between rest and work and the beaver is also an energy of collaboration right beavers they work together in families they work together in groups so this might require effort from multiple people like you might not be able to do this all on your own and that might be something that you're learning as well that you might need to share the load elk is more of like someone who is a like a leader someone who provides someone who really likes to get the work done but it's kind of like you got to lean on others for support or that you might be coming into a community or something like that all right what's going on for aries tell me more what's going on for aries in september what else do my aries need to know look out for or be aware of Oh my goodness okay we got a couple cards coming up first of all we have temperance sagittarius energy like i said it's all about the balance it's all about the ebb and the flow and really just taking your time patience is definitely being tested here but you're in alignment and you are so protected the divine your angels your ancestors they're around you always so don't even doubt it but they're cheering you on they truly are they're so proud of you again like you just gotta keep the focus and just stay in this rhythm you're in this rhythm you're in this flow keep it up all right you are maintaining a good speed not too slow not too fast you're you're like right on point there's no reason why you should be doubting yourself if you're doubting yourself or you've been or even in the next few weeks you might not right now but maybe there's a moment throughout september a few moments it's normal we have those days we have those moments those minutes even if it's just minutes it's still happens we're human but just this is your reminder to be proud of yourself and patience right patience is the key 
10 of wands as zen oh and the lovers oh i see you have a pretty hefty choice here i'm feeling pretty heavy with this decision you're trying to figure out what to do here this might be a choice in regards to some sort of commitment it could be about a person it could be between two options here and you're feeling kind of bogged down or what is this you're some of you you're carrying the weight in a relationship here you feel like you have all the weight on your shoulders and it's like it's requiring a lot of balance and you're just kind of you could be wondering like is it worth the effort is it worth the struggle because that ten of wands it is an energy of struggle so i see that you might be struggling a little bit with keeping the balance or you could be juggling between two different options and you're feeling the burden you're feeling the weight of that and it's like you don't know what to do or you're almost like straddling the choice <laughs> hmm okay you might be dealing with the gemini and this choice might be relating to some sort of wish fulfillment as we have the star at the bottom of the deck. That's Aquarius energy. Yeah, two of swords underneath that. You have some sort of decision about a wish fulfillment. It's almost like you have two. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, you have two really solid offers or two, two solid paths that you could take. And you're kind of like torn like on what direction to go down. All right, let's see. What else? What else is going on for Aries in September? So I see you having to make some sort of decision um, in the coming weeks. And for some, this could be about love. Maybe you have options in love. What's this? What do we got here? Six of Pentacles. You'll make the right choice. You'll make the right choice. But again, there's something about like... Oh, let's see. Four of Pentacles. Hangman. Knight of Wands. See, like there's a bit of this push-pull when it comes to this direction you're moving down there's a bit of a, like there's like the oh my gosh there's like there's some resistance is what i'm seeing here there's a little bit of resistance when it comes to is when it comes to you either trusting yourself trusting your path trusting some sort of offer you know you're kind of on guard or hypercritical overthinking for some of you I see you, some of you are like holding back or waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting, and you could be delaying your own growth. We'll see what that's about. There might be something that you're holding on to that you need to look at a different angle or there's like a different perspective here. We'll look into that. Um, we have the Knight of Wands and then the King of Wands. You got a lot of fire, so at least you're in your element this season. But so I see you, I see you eventually making up your mind or making up some sort of choice or decision you're really standing your i feel like you gotta stand your ground or you feel the need that you have to like explain yourself or defend yourself with this decision about some sort of like wish with them okay so basically you're caught between two options here or like with temperance and the ten of wands like you're trying to make the right choice or trying to make the right decision you feel pretty weighed down by this and you don't want to like make a choice you're going to regret you want to make sure that this choice is fair, it's equal, it's balanced, that who, if you're dealing with another person, which honestly you might be, um, you're wanting to make sure that everyone comes out a winner here or no one is like left behind or no one gets the short end of the stick. Like you're trying to make sure something's fair or equal or balanced. And as you're trying to do that, it is really, it's like, it's just like, it's kind of stressing you out a little bit. And you're trying to figure out like what to do. I see you holding back from making this decision until you're 100% clear or certain that it's going to like work out. So you're thinking about it. Now, as I'm doing this reading, it's the full moon in Pisces and this is Piscean energy with the hangman. So around August 31st, September 1st, maybe the next, the early beginning of September, you might get this clarity or maybe you're in this hangman position right now. Um, you know, when this reading is up, you might be in this, mm, let me think about it, let me reflect, let me kind of wait. And honestly, you might be best to just kind of like simmer, wait, postpone. If you can hold off from making this choice just a little bit longer, it'll allow things to become more clear for you. And also going back to the animal cards with the crow, that's where you're really needing to tap into your intuition. 
and the hangman is a very intuitive card as well right that's all about really clearing out any distractions any loudness from the external world this is all about returning to within and connecting with your intuition your spirit guides and your inner knowing right so you are needing to follow your inner inner knowing about some sort of path or some sort of new start here let's do a little bit of clarifying um yeah i'm gonna use revelations for this so like why why what's this kind of want about why are you feeling the pressure why are you feeling the weight like you feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders or this choice carries a lot of weight to it for some reason how about this ten of wands for aries why is aries feeling weighed down or worried or what's the struggle tell me this ten of wands for aries the chariot cancerian energy some of you this could be a decision about moving or traveling we also have the five of cups that just fell right on out Ooh, we got a little stack six of swords the empress and the four of pentacles see that's that same energy that's the same energy um we have libra and taurus coming out so it's like there's you're feeling the weight because you're you're moving forwards or you're moving on from something and there's a bit of heaviness or there's a little bit of an energy of like loss here or like having to let something go kind of like when you're in this lover we're going to look into the lovers and see what this decision's about or what you could be choosing but like let's just say for example like this is about love right you got two options and you like them both you like them both but one of them you got to say goodbye you're like <laughs> are you playing are you on the bachelor <laughs> okay bachelor bachelorette will you get a rose you gonna get a you know there's at the very end you only got one rose left to give right and so you know someone's gonna walk away broken hearted hopefully not you right but no with the cherry and the five of cups you're like kind of sad to move on or it's bittersweet well is it sweet is it sweet because i don't know i mean i guess it is kind of bittersweet it's a little sour maybe a little sour <sighs> it's like you're kind of sad to move on but at the same time, you can't continue to keep carrying this load or this baggage. Like, it isn't healthy for you. It's a struggle. It's it's just too much. So, yeah, there's a bit of, like, this reminiscent kind of energy of how things used to be. You're feeling sentimental. And if you're moving, right? If you're moving, some of you could be moving. Because I am seeing that also with the Six of Swords as well. There's like a bit of sadness here. That's okay. Feel your feels. Let them out. But yeah, you are moving to look at this is what you're moving towards. Six of Swords and the Empress. You are moving towards a lot of abundance. Your whole world is about to expand something. And this goes back to that thing that you're working towards. Beaver and the Elk. It, it, it's it's almost like you're graduating for some of you might actually be graduating congrats cheers that's amazing for some it's like this is oh wasn't that what we were saying in your last reading area something about stepping stones right that something maybe didn't work out but it was part of your journey and it's a stepping stone to where you're supposed to be like you are already where you are supposed to be but you're being led down this path and it's a little confusing it's a little bit scary it's a little bit you know nervous a little nerve-wracking right i think that's what your last reading was about i can't remember honestly <laughs> but it might have been something like that and so maybe that's a little bit of why you're feeling a bit burdened or heavy or just like the weight heaviness but it, this, it will pass soon okay but you are moving towards a future filled with so much enjoyment so much abundance so much happiness and fulfillment and that this is something that you've been working towards and it would be silly for you to just like let it go now it, that would be for a way that would just be a waste you know if you were to be like no never mind i'm just gonna stay where i'm at even though you're not fully fulfilled so you got to keep moving you got to keep going and so we have the empress and the four of pentacles so this is going kind of going back to that fool and the seven of wands earlier where it's like you really are needing to stand your ground and like hold on to that vision hold on to that vision hold on to that wish don't settle that's for someone i don't know who needs to hear this don't settle for less don't settle for the easy option if that's not what's fulfilling to you and it doesn't bring you that happiness or it doesn't pay you enough or that relationship isn't healthy or whatever the fuck do not settle hold on to that vision hold on to that vision don't lose that vision 
Remember why you started this journey in the first place. All right, let me take a look into this lover. See what this choice is that you could be kind of like caught up in between. Talk about the lovers for Aries. What is this decision Aries has? Yeah. Big decision. Two of cups is at the bottom for some. Again, I was saying that some of y'all have a decision in love. The fool underneath that taking a leap of faith in love. All right, tell me about the, tell me about the love. <laughs> no way. The two of cups just fell out again. All right, that was meant to be. That was meant to be. <laughs> tell me about the lovers for Aries. Could be dealing with a water sign or a cancer. We had the queen of swords. My God, my hair is just like tickling me today. It's annoying. Tell me about the lovers for I was i wanted to say gemini you might be dealing with i don't know that's the gemini's energy you could be dealing with the gemini we also have libra with the queen of swords what was that that just tried sticking out six of pentacles double confirmation but it didn't come out so talk about the lovers nine of wands some of you you're wondering if this relationship is worth fighting for oh three of swords just flipped on out is it worth the pain is it worth the pain if this is a job, if this is your job, if this is some sort of, you know, project or something that earns you money, at the end of the day, when your head hits the pillow, does this bring you satisfaction? Does this bring you happiness? Does this bring you fulfillment? Does this give you sense of purpose, right? At the end of the day, the energy that you, there's your energy, right? With the emperor, Aries, there you are. At the end of the day, are you proud? Are you satisfied? Is this something you want to continue? Is this something that brings joy? Is this something that brings harmony into your life? That's something that you are needing to ask yourself. For some, Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, is this worth the pain? Is this worth the struggle? Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords. I feel that some of you are needing to really get firm with your boundaries. And that the octopus, remember when I was pulling at the very beginning, the octopus tried coming out and the octopus can talk about boundaries and people pleasing. And I don't know if, whoever I could be speaking to or a group or someone who's listening. If you're a people pleaser, this is a message for you where you are really needing to, you really need to stand your ground. You really need to build that backbone of yours. You got it right you you have it use it use it the more you use it the stronger it will become it's a muscle exercise that shit um but this two of swords and the queen of swords is about you really needing to know your worth know your value set those boundaries and like this could also be talking about something to do with compromising and like someone is needing to either step up or ship out <laughs> you know it's, and so yeah, you have a decision to make. And this decision with the Queen of Swords, you might be, need to be more analytical here. Less lovey-dovey or emotional about this. And it's kind of like needing to look at the facts for some of you. Because the more energy, the more... So not for everyone, okay? Not for everybody, but this is for someone who needs it. If you're putting in all this energy and it's leading you feeling heartbroken, drained, unworthy, not good enough... Um, unrecognized, unval undervalued, underappreciated, um, you know, dr just all of that shit. That's that's not it, right? And why the fuck should you settle for that? You'd probably be better off alone. Ooh, someone might need to hear that. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You might honestly, you want to just do what brings you the most peace. That's that's honestly what you got to do. What brings you the most peace? That four swords energy. So think about it. Take your time. You might need to look at this from another perspective. There might be information that you're needing to receive or be open to receive. Some of you may not even be open to receiving this message right now and be like, what the hell is she talking about? Dislike, you know, <laughs> hey, whatever. If the shoe fits, the shoe fits. If it don't, then it don't. Let's take a look at the fool. Talk about the fool for Aries. you are taking some sort of 
leap of faith or you're taking this this next step talk about the fool for aries what is this next step ace of swords okay well i'm glad you are moving forwards with clarity this next step that you're taking you're certain you are clear you know what you want you know what brings you peace you know how you feel you're expressing yourself clearly i like it all right so this is full-blown clarity about what the next step is we have that knight of wands also at the bottom double confirmation talk about the fool what is this next step judgment Ooh, and this <laughs> this is something where there is simply no turning back once you make this decision or once you finally take this step forwards, there's no going back. Talk about the fool. What's this next step? You are being pushed into this direction. The divine has your back. The divine's looking out for you. Oh, shit. Nine of cups in the reverse. There's something that you're closed off to. What are you closed off to here? Fool reverse, dude, dude, this card, the fool literally flipped itself in the reverse. Okay, so that's so, okay. This clarity that you're receiving, that you are recognizing, that you, after, you know, after taking some time to reflect and asking yourself those deeper questions, asking yourself, is this worth it? Does this path, does this place, does this job, does this person fill in the blank? Does this bring me fulfillment? Does this take me closer to my goal? Does this actually benefit me in the long run or am i wasting my time am i wasting my energy am i wasting my love my money like fill in the blank so you moving forwards this next step this nine of cups in the reverse and the fool in the reverse this is about you recognizing what you don't want what you no longer have time or energy for no longer making excuses for this energy, this is you are recognizing what you no longer want. The things that you are now accepting and you're closing yourself off to. You no longer are giving people, places, things, access to your energy, your time. This is you being very clear and decisive and choosy and picky. All right? Be picky. <laughs> Don't settle. Remember? All right. All right. Let me actually, uh, let's see. Let me get you some advice or final thoughts final messages from my work your light oracle damn okay well i hope this is helpful for whoever this reading is for we have oh damn this card out of my hand soul family calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone so i remember what i was saying with the beaver earlier i was like some of you like this is about really leaning on others for support that you don't need to go through this all by yourself or that you are either coming into better connections better relationships and people who share similar goals and interests and same goal like outlooks on life right so this is really telling me that aries you're stepping into this new chapter of your life where you are connecting with your soul family where your soul family is coming in and will help you I see you really like finding the courage or finding the confidence to to like go after what you want because you know it's out there and nothing's gonna stop you all right what advice do we have for aries any other messages or advice or final thoughts for aries wow dance with life do something to change your energy so uh, advice for you aries throughout september your challenge your homework this is your homework do something to change your energy do something you've never done before take a class change up your routine i don't know like learn something you haven't you learned before um go to a new place go explore go call up an old friend you haven't talked to in months or even years you know this is a sign this is a sign to like take that risk that thing that you've been thinking about doing but you've been too afraid to do or you've been making excuses as to why you can't or why you shouldn't you need to do it you should do it it would bring a lot of fulfillments okay i'm just saying i'm just saying and we also have pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so this is that energy of like keep going that you are ascending to bigger and better things 
this is that expansion energy and as you're healing and as you're working on yourself your reality your entire reality is shifting for the better so keep it up i'm proud of you you're doing amazing we have inner temple devotion and tune into the portal of your heart at the bottom making that time for self-care tuning in listening to your intuition but yeah Aries, i'm gonna leave your rating here i really hope this was helpful i hope that this was insightful i wish you all the best on your journey journey i said that's so weird <laughs> all the best on your journey um may it bring you lots of love abundance good health good wealth um you know i'm just sending you so much positive energy your way if this reading was helpful or insightful let me know by leaving a like comment and subscribe and i will let you go i'll talk to you in the next one bye